This is Dimitri from Iris Paramotor. If you're a paramotor pilot, pay attention because I'm going to show you a cool little gizmo. This little tiny thing can save you an expensive propeller, your throttle, and potentially your life if you're really unlucky. Uh, so I'm going to share this cool little idea with you. This is not a product advertisement. We will sell these uh, at Iris Paramotor as a product. However, because this is a safety item and because it's so expensive for us to produce something this simple in-house, uh, we're going to share the information that it will take to make this. In all honesty, this could be made really simply and really cheaply by just about anybody. And I suggest everybody that is a pilot add this to their paramotor. All right, stay tuned. Let's get in the air and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're up in the air in this beautiful Washingtonian coastline by where my company is ran. So you might be asking yourself, what is this magical gizmo? And uh, I'm gonna show you. So one of the most uh, horrific things that I've ever experienced was uh, having a throttle get hit by the prop and get severed. Uh, gladly for me, the engine did not go full power, also it was on the ground. Uh, the engine went to about 50%, and uh, maybe not quite 50%, a little bit less. But uh, the issue is the prop broke, and so I was stuck in this peculiar position where I had the engine at power, and uh, I couldn't do anything about it, and it was vibrating my whole paramotor apart. It wasn't really vibrating it apart, but it sure felt like it. Anyway. Um, and the problem is, on that particular paramotor, I didn't have this device. And I do on all of them that are mine. I just don't put them on demo machines because people don't understand it. Uh, and so I hope to change that. I hope, uh, I hope I can share this idea with everybody so that everybody could make this and make use of it and uh, make their life much safer. So what is this safety gizmo? I'm going to get a little bit more power. I'm going to apply cruise control. I'm going to let go of my throttle. Uh, there it is. It is a throttle tether, and my throttle is hovering next to me exactly where I would expect it to be, exactly where I left it. At any point, I can pick it up, reach for my controls, and continue flying. Now, the coolest thing is, this does not interfere with your motion. You can still go fully up or fully down because this is a bungee. This is an elastic uh, tether, and it's also fully adjustable, at least the version that we're gonna make uh, for our customers fully adjustable right here you can change the length of the bungee and the bungee and then pre-tension or loosen it to your uh, specific needs so ironically on this very paramotor just the other day as an experienced pilot I also broke the throttle um, and the weird thing about it is the engine wasn't even on and I wasn't even doing acro, I just let it dangle and then I was coming into land and I noticed uh, just from the propeller helicoptering uh, with the engine off, it took out the prop. So it is a common problem uh, and the best part is you can just do this. And in fact, it doesn't matter how you fly, it doesn't matter if you do some acro, it is always exactly where you left it and exactly where you expect it to be. I've been flying this way for many years. Uh, in fact, actually, my early homemade paramotor set a throttle tether like this uh, to prevent this very problem, and uh, it works like a charm. It's super easy. Uh, it is really turbulent right here, so I'm going to restart the engine, actually. The coolest thing is that anybody can make this. It doesn't have to be sophisticated like this actual product. The thing is, we did make it into a product, and uh, I spent a long time figuring out a way to make something as simple as a little bungee cord uh, user-friendly and finished and nice looking where it actually appears to be a product rather than a piece of bungee cord, right? And uh, I'll show you how we put ours together and then uh, I'll show you what the actual product looks like so you can get an idea of what you can do. All right, so as you can see, this is nice and simple. It's a basic tether. Uh, it's essentially a bungee cord with two loops on the end. Both loops are adjustable. Uh, the end that goes on the frame side 
has a nice double-sided Velcro that is ultrasonic welded to the loop. Again, doesn't need to be, we we'll just make this nice. That wraps around the frame. And uh, this end adjusts, you can slide this back and forth, which uh, adjusts the length of the tether, makes it shorter or more extended, depending on the frame, depending on what you need. And this end is also adjustable and it is designed to neatly wrap around your throttle uh, and to keep it uh, nice and tightly attached uh, to the throttle. So the way this works is when you wrap it around the throttle, you put the loop under the throttle, run the Velcro through it, so the whole tether goes through, and then the loop will lock around the adjustable bead and it will stay in place like so and then what you can do is you can pull this tight just a little bit and it will further sort of lock in place so it kind of looks like that when you're uh, done with it so here's a close-up view of how this works on the throttle side um, the loop goes all the way around the throttle and then goes through itself and then because there's some stuff on the end here it locks it in place and keeps it nice and tight from sliding off. So this doesn't move around it stays put in place nice and neatly and uh, works great. Now how do you make this? Uh, there's a few different ways to make this. Alright so some materials we use 1 8 inch uh, bungee. This is available on Amazon. This is 3 quarter inch Velcro that's double sided. Um, we're using these black cylindrical craft beads. These are the kind that uh, they're called fuse beads because you make a design and then you fuse them together or whatever. I don't know how that works but I know they are heat sensitive which makes them really nice to work with in this kind of application so we use them for a few things um, and I just use a really thin piece of welding wire uh, this is 132nd so first let's uh, go over dimensions the actual bungee piece itself we cut at 21 and a half inches and the velcro we cut at about seven and a half inches uh, for us we do fold the Velcro on the end and ultrasonic weld it to the loop. So this will differ depending on how you make it. Uh, you don't need either of these. Again, you could just tie knots on the ends. All right, so I'm gonna show you how we do this. Uh, you can take whatever parts you like and uh, use them or do something completely different. We use these beads, they are designed to be melted together when you're done with whatever pattern, these are like craft beads. But what's nice about these is they can be heated up so they're, they become a little bit malle malleable. Um, and also, they are just the right size. Uh, they are five, five by five millimeter beads. So, um, I have a wire that's folded in half and I fold it more than halfway, so it creates like a little loop and a V. And what that lets me do is pass it through the bead. And now I can take the bungee and I can lock it in that V. And now uh, this bead, I'll give a tiny bit of heat just to make it more malleable. I'll pass the loop through just like that. See, now you have a nice and clean adjustable loop on this end. And then we're going to take one more bead at that end. And I'm going to run my wire almost at the end of the bungee, about the same distance as the height of the bead, because what we're going to do is we're going to lock 
down to that bungee, just like that. So what you have now is a loop that is adjustable, but also it can't slip. So this is very good for the throttle side to wrap around the throttle, but also we do the same thing on the frame side. So let's do the same thing, nice and quick. Pass a bead through. Pass the bungee. The first bead I do heat up a little bit. loop number two and then at this point if you're doing this at home you could simply use the double-sided velcro to attach this to the frame you don't need to sew or what we do is ultrasonic weld um, and then your tether is good to go uh, all right so this is our ultrasonic welder station this is probably one of our coolest high-tech tools that we use we use them on throttles for the straps uh, and a few other tasks that cannot be done faster in any other way. So, fold over our strap, put it in the welder, and this will make a horrendous sound which I will mute and make quiet in the video. Alright, just like that. I'm gonna clean up the strap here. There we have it, perfectly sealed piece of Velcro. So as you can see, the ultrasonic welder does a great job at sealing Velcro straps. Uh, and here we go. There's our throttle, throttle tether. So here you go. There's a throttle tether. Uh, please share this video to anybody who you think should see it. If you're a paramotor manufacturer, by all means, use this. If you're a pilot, or an instructor and you have students please share this with them or make your own all right thank you for watching please stay safe and hopefully you get some good flying in